Hey what's up guys welcome to my channel and today in this video we are going to look at components in Livewire. We will do a deep dive into what components are, you know, different ways of creating it and a little more. So without wasting much time let's get started. Continuing from our previous video we saw that creating a component is possible using a Livewire command that is available to us. So this is Livewire. Um, make live wire and we added a component using this particular command and counter is the name. Now we can use both the title, you know, this title case kind of a thing like create post or add expense kind of a stuff or you can also do a kebab case for example let's create one more component maybe to do list okay very original uh, but yeah that's what it is so now if you see this is what we get and you know, the component here and also the blade file fair enough now we also have the ability to change the behavior of this i have two new files so i'll just do a reset of that so if you want to put those files in some other folder for example right now it's inside app live wire and then we had to do list but if you want to create components inside a folder for example if i use this command and you now if you are doing these title case kind of thing then you can do something like to do backslash backslash to do list something like this and then what happens is you have the live wire folder and then you have this to do folder and then to do list and the same is followed inside the view file which is resources views live wire and then we have this to do folder and then the list blade file but you can also use one more convention which is to do sorry dot to do list and if you see the output is quite similar we again have the live wire folder inside the app folder then we have a to do and then the to do list so it basically depends on what you are comfortable with there's no hard and fast rule you can do it and even you can create them manually if you want to okay. now we have the component in place let us open that up i'll close everything except for the blade file Mm -hmm. close others let me go inside the app http no sorry live wire we see we have a to-do folder everything is fine let's go inside the resource just so that you know we are able to play around with certain things why don't we add this is our to-do list okay now so like we had rendered the counter component similarly i can do something like to do dot to do list is the l capital yes it is so i'll just follow the same structure and if i refresh yeah can you see it is coming over here and like we had the option of doing a kebab case we can also do something like this and ideally it should work it does because I'm refreshing and it is giving me the same output now one quick thing to add is let's just say if if you have a very small component something which is really like um, title okay and we have body okay and I'll just put those two properties over here so that I don't have a error no exceptions are thrown so dollar title equals title public dollar body equals body now if I refresh you will see this two coming but if you feel in a this is just the only thing in my component do I really need a blade file for this you can do an inline component so what I will do is over here, no, not over here, rather here, we will go into the 
render method and we will make a small change and that should result in us not needing the blade file which is instead of doing this i'll just comment that out return something like this and then html and inside this i can put anything for example i can copy these two things just you need to keep an eye that the component should start with a div i mean there should be one parent container otherwise you will run into a problem just to ensure that this is coming from inline component hit save refresh and can you see i don't have this in my blade file i am pulling it out from the inline component and if you are really feeling that this is the way to go you can also do something like to do item let's just say and you can do inline when you pass this attribute or rather this parameter to the command what it will do is just create the class file so that means in here to do item just has this thing already set up for you so that's one of the good things of livewire which is you, know, you if you feel that the markup is very less you can just do with one file you don't need to worry about the blade files and stuff like that one more thing that we need to know about rendering of component is first of all there's a small problem i think livewire forgive me for um uh, you know, this mistake but ideally it should be like this with a dot but if i open up my to do list you know this render method is not actually a mandatory thing if i get rid of this okay and if i try to refresh my browser can you see it is still getting rendered and i'll show you that it does work because from blade and if i refresh see the changes are getting reflected from the blade file but my to do list is not defining which blade file is being used because livewire does pick this up automatically if it doesn't find the render method we just need to ensure that the function or, or rather the convention is followed not function but convention is followed because if i do something like this refresh do you see it says it can't find the file because it is looking for to do list why because the namespace is to do list whereas our file name has a to do dash list so if i do something like this it will work again or you can use the namespace convention which is something like this okay and it does work so this is something which is important to know if you are of the sorts where you know you want your component to be as small as possible you can follow this approach till the point you are not doing additional work on your render method but i sometimes feel that this is a little more um direct you know it reads well because i know that this is the render method and i'm rendering this and hence i typically keep it like this so there is an option it's up to you which method you prefer to use but yeah that's about it guys that's what components are how do we create it how do we render them stuff like that there are still things around you know passing data but that is something which we will cover in the next video but this is what i wanted to cover in this video so thanks for watching if you like this video then do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel